walking to this damn gas station before a motherfucker ran out. Good morning, happy new year. Good morning, good morning. It's your girl Journey with Kiki. And if you're not subscribed to my channel, you are missing out. You hear me? <laughs> Please comment, share, and subscribe. And press that thumbs up. <laughs> good morning, y'all. I miss y'all. I miss y'all. so much hey <laughs> happy new year <laughs> y'all it's work flow again okay workflow is back on <sighs> i'm trying to rush to the gas station y'all the gas hand light is on This way. Is that gas station? It be tripping. First, it don't take debit cards. Then only cash only. Then no cash. Then only credit card. I ain't got time for that gas station. So we're gonna go to another gas station, okay? So I got my new books, y'all. I am so freaking excited. Do you hear me? I am excited. This is the day that the Lord has made, and we all shall rejoice and be glad in it, right? And I am excited to show you guys my new books. I got three. Three different new books. Journey. How did you get them three books, girl? By the help of my members and my super chatters and my super thanks. That's how I got those three books. Do you hear me? That's how I got those books. By you guys. You know, joining the membership, allowing your girl to get a little bit of change from YouTube. And that's how I got my books. So I appreciate each and every one of you guys so much. So much, my members, um, just all my extended family members, my super chatters, my super thanks, my super stickers uh cash appers i appreciate all you guys because if it wasn't for you i couldn't do this do you hear me i couldn't do this so before i go pump my gas i'm gonna show you guys the three books and hopefully you stay if not you can leave for a minute and then you can come on back <coughs> so remember i had the other book 365 of positive affirmations or readings right so here's the other one this one is on self-care you guys 365 days a year of self-care okay and it gives you daily practices and inspiration for caring for yourself and this book here is written by dr zo show shaw i'm sorry dr zo shaw Okay, so this is the new book that I purchased because of you guys are so great to me. 
And here's another book. This book here is called Be Still and Know. Okay, isn't that pretty? Be Still and Know. Be Still and Know. And um, this book here is also a 365-day reading of some good word from that Bible. Do you hear me? You see, today is January 1st. So this will be the reading for today that we're going to do in a little bit. Okay, guys? And the third book is not a 365-day book, but it do have 180 days of some good, devotion reading do you hear me many devotions and it's called grace for today isn't that cute so this book here has um has different readings and they go from one to a hundred from number one to 180 days okay and they have like nice little readings up in here all right, you guys. Um, so let me get what I need to get because I need gas. Uh, your girl gonna be pushing, she gonna be pushing, and that ain't what I want to do. All right, y'all. Y'all can either hold on, y'all can give me about five minutes, come back. I don't know. I'm going to have to turn this light off because I can't keep the light on in the car. The battery might die. I don't know. I'll be back, y'all. I need gas. I'll be back. Love y'all. <laughs> oh, let me turn my lights off.
Jesus. All right, y'all, I'm back. Let's turn this light on. Let's turn the light on. Oh, he got to see all the way back, Lord. That's the deal. Okay, that's okay right there. Mm. It's cold. I ain't got not one jacket. Hey, Nirvana, how are you, love? Happy New Year, sis. Fuck. Sorry, God. I'm sorry, y'all. Oh. I need to go get this fixed. ASAP. See, I know how to connect it back together, though. <laughs> you girl know how to connect it back together. She ain't playing. But I do. I need to go get it fixed. Our plan journey. All right. All right. We are on and we are ready to go. We are on. And we are ready to push, push, push. Do I want to go down Avalon? Hey. I'm going down Central because I got out of there. Going down Central to work instead of Avalon. Good morning, you lovely people. How are y'all doing? Driving? Can't ch check the chat. Um, let me try to. <laughs> so I see Reza. Good morning. Reza. Good morning. And Nirvana. Good morning. Official Jamia, good morning. Good morning, good morning. Happy New Year, everybody. 
Happy New Year, Jamia Reza and Nirvana. Good morning, Kiki Maz and Chat. Yes. Took me a long time. I had to fill up Big Blue. Big Blue, she had to get filled up. So I don't have to worry about going to nobody gas station uh, for this whole week. So how y'all doing this morning? Um, I guess when I pull up to work, we can read our book. I am happy for the new year, new me, new beginning, new blessings, new doors opening, new opportunities, okay? Just new everything. Hopefully a new atmosphere, new scenery later, later on as the year go by. <laughs> I hope your girl can move. I'm not sure yet. But anywho, just grateful and thankful that God has allowed me and each and every one of you guys to see another day in the land of the living. Gave us another year and another day to get ourselves together and be according and be on one accord with him. So, yes, I'm just happy to see, you know, New things, new changes at the job place. Ah, snap. I forgot to grab my bachelor's. I forgot to grab my bachelor's, y'all. I was supposed to bring that. I was supposed to bring that. And, um, oh, I forgot to put on me my one of my bracelets, too. <laughs> I forgot to grab my bachelor's, though. I was supposed to bring that. And give it to my supervisor so she can um, make a copy and do what she need to do, send it to HR and all that good stuff. So, yes, I'm gonna do that tomorrow. I gotta remember, I'm gonna sit it out because I think I put it up. I'm gonna sit it out and put it in the living room so that way your girl can, um, can see it when I walk out the door tomorrow. That way I can see it and be able to grab it. <laughs> so, yes, yeah, not that dark out here, but it is still dark. Um, I hope you guys brought your new year in just how you wanted to bring it in, okay? <laughs> whatever that may be okay I don't even want to know but whatever it was however you did it I hope you enjoyed it okay let's see if we can read one oh nope the light done changed can't read nothing the light changed Today gonna be a good day. Today is gonna be a good day. Your girl got her water, okay? If you ain't got the coldest water bottle, what you made now? Go get your coldest water bottle. Go get it. And I got me some hot water in here. Hot water and a tablespoon of the Bragg's vinegar. That Bragg's vinegar, that's what I got in here. Hot water and a tablespoon of Bragg's vinegar for the throat and for the body and whatever else it's for. Y'all see that? Y'all see that sign? That's my sign, y'all. That's my sign, that OG Cancer. Crabby crab crab. Yes, yeah, so I got my hot water and my um, 
Bragg's vinegar. Yeah. Let's see who gonna come back to school today. No, my bad. The kids don't even come back to the night. Oh, how I forgot. Oh, how I tripped. <laughs> I'm already. I'm like, yeah, the kids. I think I even told one of the parents because they text me Happy New Year. And um, the baby is, uh, her baby is walking now. One of her babies is walking. And uh, I'm like, oh, Happy New Year. Can't wait to see you all on Monday. Tuesday, I'm sorry, Tuesday. And um, it's not even, the kids don't come back to the ninth, y'all. I'm tripping. Kids don't come back to the night. It's just we come back on the third, which is today. I appreciate everybody in the live. Not sure who all's in the live because YouTube telling me I got zero people in the live. <laughs> I ain't mad though. Hey Tia, did I see Tia? Hey Tia, how are you? Beautiful. How are you, beautiful? I should go in that park in that parking lot. There's two different parking lots we can park in. I'm gonna go in and park in this parking lot. Open up this gate. Y'all watch me. Whoever in here, can y'all watch me? Can y'all watch me? I need to open up the gate. Y'all think y'all can watch me? Can you watch me? Mm. Ooh. Okay, let me get out. Oh, Jesus. All right, y'all, I'm back. Hey, Sister Weenie, how are you? God bless you all. That's in the live. Appreciate you. Let's see if I can park without having to pull back up and redo it again. <laughs> nope, I gotta do it again. Let's do it again. Oh, so that means, now that I'm thinking about it, that means since the kids don't come back till the ninth, and we all back today, that means that we clocking in at 730. So we here from 730 to 4. I just thought about that. I don't know why I'm thinking I'm coming in at 8 o'clock today. I don't know why I'm thinking I'm coming in. But let's get the ball going. Let's get the ball going. We're going to read our book. Okay, it's 645. Good morning to everybody in here. Please comment, like, and share. Let everybody know your girl is live. We need a couple of more thumbs up in the building, okay? We're going to say a prayer, and then we're going to get right into our books for the new year, okay? Dear Heavenly Father, we come to you this morning, Lord. We thank you for waking us up, closing our right minds. We thank you for just keeping us as we slept on last night, Lord. We thank you for this new year that you have allowed us um, to come into, Lord, 
a new year, new day to get ourselves together and make it right with you. Lord, we just thank you for family, extended family. We thank you for friends. We thank you for our job. We thank you for our homes, our cars. We just thank you for life. We thank you for your love, your mercy, and your grace. We thank you for who you are, Alpha, Omega, the beginning and the end. Lord, we just thank you. This year comes with new blessings, new beginnings, a new us, a new me, a new uh, a new chapter of my life, okay? New doors opening, new miracles, everything, Lord. We just thank you, thank you, thank you. Continue to touch this world, make it a better place. Stop the killings and the shootings, the robberies, home invasions, Lord. We just ask that you just put a stop to that, Lord, and we just gonna continue to just um rejoice and 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 praise and worship your your songs and your word and we just again we just thank you thank you thank you for your many many blessings and stuff to come in jesus name amen all right y'all so for the two people that's in the building how you doing here is our new book for the year for this whole year here is our new book uh, invest in self-care with a year of motivation wisdom. You're going to get a bite-sized inspiration. You're going to get explore all forms of self-care and you're going to get a theme for every month. Do you hear me? A theme. Okay. And so this little part says, this book is dedicated to my clients who have giving me the honor of walking with them on their personal growth and healing journey. Okay. So for January, I'm not going to read the introduction, but for January, January, the title, the theme is reset. Okay. This is a new year. So we need to reset a lot of things, right? So January is reset. Reset. Okay? And I'm going to just read what is reset before I read January 1st. So reset. Reset, readjust, restart, refocus as many times as you need to. Okay? Happy New You. The first month of this year is about resetting and creating new self-care habits that will lay the foundation for all of your self-care practices throughout the year. I gently but strongly discourage you from making the traditional New Year's resolution that are attached to a number on the scale, dress size, credit score, relation status, or bank balance. Instead, use the month to focus on the journey of healthy living and how that will positively affect your true resolution. It's not really about seeing results that can be quantified. It's about feeling the results in your soul. The ripple effect of self-care will eventually show itself a measurable ways as well. But without the guilt of pressure, of deadlines this year. This is your year. Your year for growth. Your year for to release the old and bring forth your potential. Okay? So that was just a little rundown about reset. Oh, it also says here, take five minutes to journal what you expect to be quali qualitatively different about yourself one year from now. What will you discover? What will you accomplish? How will you best take care of yourself? When the year starts, your mind is often motivated for a new beginning and all the possible gifts this year has. This January, let your desire for newness help you move forward as you get your physical body into a healthy alignment with your mind. And this last part reads, the theme for your self-care this month will be resetting. You deserve to feel excited about this because the best change is created in incremental steps. Each step may seem small, but every day 
you'll be building stronger You'll be building a strong base of self-care that will give you all the strength you need to create the life you want. In the words of author Ash, starts where you are. Use what you use what you have and do what you can. Okay, so that was the little rundown on self. That was a little rundown on reset. Okay, for the month of January. Now I'm gonna read. Uh, the actual day. Today ain't even January 1st. Should we read January 1st? Up to January 3rd. I'm going to read it. January 1st up to January 3rd. And like I said, like the weekends when I'm not riding on my way to work, I'm going to do it. I'm just going to make a short video. And read um, whatever the weekend say. Hey, um, Jahan. Hello, Lolita. Thank you all for coming in. I'm quite sure you guys are coming in from maybe Ronway <laughs> or Mitch or whoever else. I appreciate my Filipino family. All right, we're going to read January 1st. We're just going to go all the way to January 3rd, okay? So January 1st is goals, goals, goals. Goals, aspirational, but still concrete, are different from resolutions. Today, you know what you want, and you're willing to go on a self-care journey to get there. Let's get started by identifying a clear, purpose-driven reason for your goals, then write them down which will make it more likely that you will manifest them. Why do you want to self-care? What do you intend to get out of this year? Do you want to feel more res res rested, more centered, more cared for and love? Do you want to move in a healthier body like me? <laughs> uh, get more sleep like me? <laughs> Find motivation and this well-known quote, when you feel like quitting, think about why you started. So never give up. That's your personal life. That's your YouTube life, your church life, your work life, whatever. Your hobby life. Don't give up on none of it, okay? So now we're going to go into January 2nd. I know y'all like, girl, you read too much. Don't nobody want to hear that. But we're going to read it all the way to today, okay? And then we're going to be caught up. So January 2nd reads, the title is I Am. This is a ground, I'm sorry. This is a grounding exercise that centers you to the present. Take off your shoes and sit in a chair, couch or bench. Press your bare feet into the floor or ground beneath you. Raise both of your hands above your head. Gently lower them straight down pressing them firmly into the surface on which you are sitting. Now speak the following affirmation. I am a vessel of strength, joy, and resiliency. I fill up myself daily so that I can serve myself and my people in the way in which I was created. Like a cocoon butterfly... I am growing and changing in the most beautiful ways. Repeat this affirmation during your day. So that was for January 2nd. All right. Now we caught up. We're going to read January 3rd. <laughs> January 3rd, we're going to read and then we're caught up. Okay, y'all. We're going to be caught up. Okay, so today is January 3rd and the title is Your Appointment. Do, do you have an appointment? What is your appointment for? Why did you make the appointment? Okay, so today reading is self-care is about planning to make yourself a priority. Today, as a means of self-care, schedule a checkup with your doctor. Mm, mm, mm. Boy, I tell you, I ain't looked at this book. I just opened this book because I'm back to work. So, you know, this is what I do, right? And I told myself, the beginning of the year, I'm going to be back committed to 
going to the doctor, you know, like I should, and going to the dentist. Y'all, I'm so freaked out of the dentist. I don't know why, <laughs> but I am, and I ain't even finna talk about it because I'm gonna get teary eyed. Anywho, I'm gonna try my best to be committed, okay? So I'm gonna make my appointment. Look, I don't know when, but it'll be before January is up. <laughs> Oh my goodness, y'all! Ooh, scary. All right. So, what did where did where did I stop at? Okay. So today, as a means of self care, schedule a checkup with your doctor. If you already have a visit within the last, if you already had a visit within the last six months, make your next appointment. Ask about getting your routine blood work done. Ooh, Lord, I got deep veins, y'all. I got deep veins, and they just can't poke me easily and find a, black, a vein to draw blood, y'all. Look, I'm already got a tear. Look. <laughs> I got deep veins, and they poked me like two, three different times. <laughs> Ask about getting your, your routine blood work done, including panels to check your vitamin levels to detect deficiencies that could require supplementation of nutritional adjustments. Remember, your body is the vessel in which you live your life, okay? Maintaining it is the key to having the life you want, which is true. <sighs> After you've made the appointment... Take a moment to feel proud of taking care of yourself. Absolutely true and scary at the same time for me. I don't know. I'm just not the doctor, the dentist. The dentist. I'm terrified. Just because if they got to do any type of work, I ain't gonna be able to, to see the I ain't gonna be able to see them tools that they use on me. I had a bad experience when I had surgery done. I had a bad experience when I had my surgery for God's dogs. They had me still awoke when I went into the operating room. They had me still awoke. I seen everything on that goddamn table. Lord, forgive me for cursing. But my whole body just shut down, y'all. And when I say it shut down, it shut down. Like, number one and number two. I'm going to just keep it 100 with you. Number one and number two. It shut down. I don't know why. It just did. And I'm crying at the same time before they even rolled me up in there. I'm scared, y'all. I'm so scared. Let me stop. Okay, it's a new year. We're going to overcome our fears. We're going to overcome our fears. Oh, my goodness. So, and it's almost close to time. I'm supposed to overcome another fear of mine. And what's that fear journey? Getting on that ship. February, y'all. February. I will be getting on the big ship. Okay? Your girl is going on a cruise. And I'm scared as ever. Yes, I am. I'm scared as ever. <laughs> I'm so scared. But I'm trying not to be scared. Okay? Alright? I'm trying not to be scared. I'm trying to get out here and live life. Okay? So we read our little... um self-care book january from january 1st to january 3rd uh uh okay so now we're gonna read this one okay we're gonna read this one oh i need that light we're gonna read that one okay and let's see I'm not going to read the introduction, but I will read the, I guess the little theme. It ain't really a theme, but the little part 
that they have here before I read January 3rd. And they have it like this for every month, okay? So it says January. That's this book here. Be still and know, okay? Be still and know. This book here was written by... Who was this book written by? Ew, it don't have no name, y'all. It don't have no name on here who it was written by. It just got a letter B here. Letter B. We just gonna say uh, letter B. <laughs> letter B. Because it don't have a name here who written the book. It was edited by Michelle Winger. Designed by Chris Goldberg. Okay, 2016 by, it's a Boar Street Publishing. I don't know. Oh, okay. Devotional entries composed by Janelle Anthony, Brett Kale, Diane, and all these other people. Okay, so that's who it was, I guess, written by. Those people. All right, so January reads uh, this little this little segment over here it says so do not fear hmm. i think it's talking to me for i am with you do not dismay for i am your god i will strengthen you and help you i will uphold you with my righteous right hand and this scripture is from isaiah chapter 41 verses 10 and it's reading from the NIV Bible, okay? I want to read from January 1st to January 3rd. <coughs> but y'all might think it's a lot. Y'all think it's a lot or can y'all bear with me? Okay, we just going to read it from January 1st to January 3rd. January 1st, something new. I am about to do something new. See, I have already begun. Do you not see it? I will make a pathway through the wilderness. I will create rivers in the dry wasteland. And that's from Isaiah 43, 19. And that's the NLT. Whether you have generated a color-coded list of goals, dreams, and an ex... ex execution plan for the next 365 days are you've been resolution and vowed to make this just another day on the calendar the clean slate represented by the first day of a new year is filled with an undeniable air of expectation the excitement of a new bobble our gadgets pales in comp comparison, good Lord, to the promise of a new beginning. Deep down inside, there is a part of us which thinks this could be my year. And I solely do think this is my year, you guys. A lot of changes, just a lot of new everything. Um, Guess what? It is your year. This day... And everyone that follows is yours. It is yours to choose who and how to love, to serve, and even to be. And the choice you made in reading this page represents the choice to take this journey in the company of your Heavenly Father. That is a beautiful place to start. Okay, and then at the bottom it says, Heavenly Father, I give you this year. I ask that you would help me keep you in the forefront of my mind, okay? As I make decisions and plans, I want to seek your advice in everything I set my hand to. And that's what I'm trying to do. I want to keep him in the forefront of everything. Like, pray about it to him, give it over to him, and see what he's going to tell me to do, which way to go, okay? And um, 
just trying to overcome these fears, y'all. I ain't going to lie to you. As y'all can tell, I'm just that scared because your girl got teary-eyed. Like, girl, get it together. All right, we're going to read January 2nd because I know y'all probably about tired of me reading. But I just want to read January 1st and January 2nd until we catch up to January 3rd. Okay, January 2nd, all things new. He who sat on the throne said, Behold, I make all things new. And he and he said to me, Write, for those words are true and faithful. That's Revelation 21 and 5. That's the New King James Version. The most beautiful thing about the God we've entrusted our life to is that he makes all things new. That is a faithful statement. It has always been true and will always be true. As we begin a new year, empty a full of both bright promise and worrisome unknown. We can rest our souls in the truth that our God will make everything new. Our regrets, mistakes, and failures are nothing compared to his covenanted promise and redemption and newness. Okay, I want to be made new, a new creation, new creature. Thank you, Jesus, that you make all things new. Thank you that your word is faithful and true, and I don't have to doubt your promises. Bring newness to my life this year. Take my regrets and turn them into new beginnings. So all your regrets, anything you doubted yourself, all your failures, turn them into uh, new beginnings, okay? Newness, new you, remember? New, 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 everything new, okay? So now we're about to be caught up to January 3rd. January 3rd, what do it say? January 3rd, invisible. The Lord looked down from heaven and sees the whole human race. From his throne, he observes all who lives on earth. And that's from Psalms, uh, book 33, 13 through 14 and the NLT. Uh, are you feeling invisible today? You may be surrounded by a crowd of people and yet feel alone and isolated. This may be how the woman who needed a healing touch from Jesus felt, which is uh, Mary, right? The woman who touched the hem of his garment, Mary. Yeah, I don't know the Bible all like that, but I know some bits and pieces and I'm trying to do better. <laughs> but was convinced he would never notice her among, among so many. She reached out and touched and found him fully aware. Hagar, Sarah's servant, was driven from her home by her angry mistress, wandering lost and alone in the wilderness. God saw her and became her deliverer. It's difficult to comprehend as it's difficult to comprehend that as small and insignificant as we are in time and space, God sees each of us and even knows our name. Others may not seem to notice or understand, but God knows your whole story, okay? He knows your whole story, and only you can tell your whole story. Nobody else can. He is always present, all seeing, all wise. No matter where we are, God sees. No matter what you're thinking, and you think, hey, nobody hear you, I don't know what you're saying. God knows what you're saying. He knows what you're you're doing with your eyes, you know, the lusting and, and all that when you're married and you're not supposed to be doing that. He knows. It's difficult to comprehend. Oh, I read that already. Sorry. Okay, so the last part says, I am so thankful, Lord, that you not only see my physical, but you see into my heart and mind and know my every thought. Help me always to remember that I am never invisible to you, which is him, him up above. All right, y'all, we have caught up to January 3rd in both of our books. I appreciate you guys for um, just...
just bearing with me <laughs> because I really wanted to read January 1st to the 3rd. And then from now on, from now on, I will read the readings on the weekend. I will read them and make a short video and post it. So I just won't be reading stuff back to back, back to back like I did today. So I'm going to read this little part behind the book. It says, be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the nations. I will be exalted in the earth. And that's Psalms 46, verse 10 in the NIV Bible. Yeah, so I'm just super excited, you guys, about the books that I have. Um, just about the books that I have and... The new beginnings that um that's gonna come forth for 2023. The new beginnings that's gonna come forth in 2023. I have more amazing um should I say announcements? What should I say? I have more amazing um things that I'm going to be telling you guys about uh changes you guys I'm getting up out that living room <laughs> where my setup has been at forever I am getting up out that living room finally and my oldest son has left the nest him and my grandbaby as I already told you guys so I've already started on the room that I'm going to be in. I've already started on the room. Let me go to these comments because I'm just here to yip, yap, yip, yap, yap, yap. Let me go to the comments. I'm sorry, y'all. I just been talking. Good morning to everybody. Emu, hello, Sister Winnie. Hello, God bless you. Same to you, sis. Uh, Jahan, uh, Lolita, hello, hello. Crafty Leo, good morning. The Bug Files, morning. Johanna, hello. Hello, hello, hello. Nancy Perry, hello. Haven't seen you in a while. How you been? How is the family? Happy New Year, Nancy. So, yeah, your girl is here. I'm at work. I'm in the parking lot. Um... Just waiting to get ready to clock in and go in. Um, yeah. I'm not going to read this book. I do have another new book too. But I'm not going to read this one in the mornings. Just because I will be reading from those two books in the mornings. I'm going to do this book. I think on my way home. On my way home. On my way home. I'll be reading this book on my way home. It's been a while, yes. Happy New Year to you as well. Yes, it has. Yes, yeah, so I'm going to read this book on my way home. It'll give us something to... It'll give me another video. Look, a video to make and something to talk about. <laughs> hey, every video counts, y'all. Y'all make y'all videos. Yeah, it is um, about the the quality or you know making a good video you know but at the same time every video is a great video even if you don't think it's a great video even if another person don't think it's a great video it's a great video youtube might say it's a great video youtube audience might say it's a great video and still give you whatever you're looking for you know what i'm saying so um just continue to be great at doing you, okay, on purpose. I love each and every one of y'all. Um, just excited for the new year. Um, excited because I have a whole room <laughs> that's about to be different, okay? When I get ready to be recorded this year, I am going to try to work on recording more at the house. I'm going to try. You're still going to get recordings in the car. 
Because like the days I gotta go to choir rehearsal, I gotta eat. I gotta eat. So you'll get a recording in the car. You might get a recording in the car, you know, if me and babe out on the weekend and we choose to go eat somewhere, I might record. So you'll still get cars, mukbangs, still probably more than the house mukbangs. But yeah, I'm going to work on that. I'm going to work on that. I appreciate all my channel members. I appreciate each and every one of you guys. Y'all know who y'all are. You guys are so precious and just dearest to my heart. I just love y'all. I really, really do. I know I didn't get to um I didn't get to do um member shout outs because I really wanted to read from those books and get caught up with those books. I know I probably read too much to y'all this morning. I apologize, but at the same time, I wanted to read January 1st, 2nd, and then right now the 3rd. So I do apologize for all that reading, but that was, I shouldn't even be apologizing for God's reading, right? God's reading is the best reading, and we should not get bored of God's reading, right? Am I right or wrong about it? Let me know down below. Am I right or wrong about it? So for the ones who enjoyed it, Thank you. Um, <laughs> and God, if I said it wrong, I'm sorry, Lord. Because uh, it ain't never too much of your word, okay? We ain't got enough of his word. Do you hear me? We have not had enough of his word. And I might not know the word like that and the Bible like that. But I know I know enough. And I know bits and pieces. No, I ain't going to say bits and pieces. I know a little more than bits and pieces. Let me not lowball myself like that. <laughs> but, hey, I'm standing here strong in, um, what's the word I'm looking for? I'm just standing here strong, and I'm just keeping it real with y'all, you know. I ain't gonna pretend like I know the Bible like that. As much as I've been in church, I grew up in church, um... I don't know. So, I'm going to try to do better this year. I already prayed to my God who... I mean, not who. I already prayed to my God what I am trying to work on this year. Um, and the things that I need to do better. Um, and that's just grow my relationship with him more. And read his word more. And don't be ashamed to read his word and yeah, all that good stuff. I'm looking back here because <laughs> y'all, y'all know your girl always got a snack bag, right? <laughs> she always got a snack bag. Journey. Journey always got a snack bag. So these are some chips that <laughs> I keep saying I'm a review with y'all, but I never, I ain't got a chance to. Hey, handful mama. Yes, Nancy, we are always growing in his word. Like, it's something every day that we can learn new from his word. Look, these are Cheetos. These are white snowflake Cheetos. I'm going to do a review. Ask me when. <laughs> I don't know. Here is some, I ain't never seen these. Barbecue. I seen chili cheese Fritos, but I never seen barbecue Fritos. So that's something I'm going to do. Maybe I'll do a review on it today, y'all, because ain't no kids. We ain't got no kids until, we don't have no kids until the night. And look, I think I'm going to do a review on these. I've been having these chips forever. I've been having these chips forever. I think I'm going to do the review on these so I can open these up. <laughs> I've been having these Carolina Reapers forever. So I think I'm going to do that. I think I'm going to do that. And then this is just some stuff that um I kind of had already. 
that's just been sitting in my car. I need to do these here. These are little dirt wrap snacks, and these are buttermilk ranch. So I need to do these to review. My son gave me these, but these look too sweet, y'all. These look like they're going to make your teeth hurt. He gave me these, my son. And I already had the lemon ones. Me and babe, we already had the lemon ones. And they are. They are really, really sweet. I think I'm going to take this in to work. I got a Gatorade, y'all. Uh, What else in here? Oh, and I got some pistachios. I think I'm going to take it into work because I ain't doing no review on that. We already know what pistachio tastes like. Oh, that's what was in here. Okay, I'm going to show y'all what I got too for my... Okay, so we're going to put these back in the back. Okay, so I got some... Because, you know, sometimes you need to bring in the culture of the kids that you have in your classroom. So, basically, the culture here at our school is Blacks and Hispanics. Okay? Latin American. And I went, I bought, this is something different, African playground music. I do have... One, I have one black kid in my classroom, you guys, one. We do have other music, all them nursery rhyme musics and all the other music that the job give us, but I wanted this African playground music. You know, that's part of culture. And then this one is um, world playground music. Maybe parts all around the world playground music. And then this one is Latin playground music. Even though I might not know this music because it's probably going to be in Spanish, but it's all good. My children that's in my classroom, they might going, you know, they probably going to know it. Something probably going to ring a bell like they heard this before, you know, as they was growing up and they still growing up. So anyway, so I'm excited about that. I get to play some um, some culture music in my classroom uh, with my children when they come back on the 9th. You guys, let's see what time it is. It is 724. Um, shit, who all coming? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm still cursing, Lord. I'm so sorry. It's 724. Um, let me do my health check real quick before I get off of here with you guys. We've been on here for 64 minutes. I appreciate the ones that are still in here. YouTube tells me that I have one person in here. I appreciate you for being in here. Appreciate you for staying to the end, giving me a little bit of your time. Um, I'm just about to do the health check that we have to do every morning before we go into the job building. Oh, my nose. All right. So your girl is green. She is good to go as long as it's green. Let me screenshot this so I can send this over to my supervisor and let her know that I am all good and clear to go into the building because I'm about to get ready to get out. Okay. So that's done. Health check is done. Before I get out, y'all, I want to show y'all what I got on. I want to show y'all my new shoes that I got. Oh, let me put my watch on. I want to show y'all my new shoes that I got for Christmas. I got a couple of new shoes, y'all. I got shoes. I got boots. 
Ugg boots. Uh oh, let me turn it back around. Let me get out. I got new bras. I got new panties. <laughs> oh, let me see. Let me fix myself. I can't wait to get my hair back retwisted. But anywho, it's your girl Journey. Wait, y'all can't really see. These are my new kicks. Let me see. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, what am I doing wrong? Let me turn the camera around. Girl, these are my new kicks. Do y'all like them? These are the new kicks, y'all. It's your girl Journey. Journey. A a journey. A journey. <laughs> Y'all know I just be acting the fool. So these are the new kicks. I love them. I love them. Yes, I do. I love them. And then, you know, I got on a black shirt with some gray jeans. Hey, y'all. So it's just me. It's me. It's me. It's me. It's me. <laughs> it's me. It's me. It's me. <laughs> Y'all know I'm a mess. Here go Big Blue. She needs some more. She needs some more rims. I don't like these rims no more. Um, y'all put y'all uh y'all names or y'all channels on your on your cars. I'm telling you, you can grow so much. I'm telling you, and I'm thinking about I want to get a bigger sign, but I'm like, mm, nah, that'll work. Cause I've seen people with big signs on their um on their um on their on their cars anywho this is big blue this is my baby right here i'm i'm big mama number one she big mama number two <laughs> anywho let me get my butt up out of here i love each and every one of y'all who came and showed me some love um yes i do yes i do yes i do Continue to be great at you. Let's grind, y'all. Grind as hard as you can for 2023. Do you hear me? Grind as hard as you can for 2023. And don't worry about the rest. Period. Make you some shorts. If you don't know what kind of shorts to make, go look at my shorts. Make you some shorts. You get views. You get family members. I don't like to say the S word. You get family members. You get all that. Okay? So I love each and every one of y'all. Y'all know I do. Continue to shine. And it's going to be some uh, new changes, y'all. It is. Anywho, don't worry about the nails. I know I need them done. I love y'all. Bye, y'all. Bye. I got to go to work. Bye.